what is going on you guys it is me bro. it is shiver it is viva it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed to let all my babies know what your inner guided messages are that you have to yourself right now yes we are getting inner guidance messages so that you know we can help Ourself elevate, you know. So, um, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies who click, like, share, and subscribe this video. I have no idea what time we're reading for today. We're going to use the astro dice and we're going to do a quick shake and break and we're going to see which sign we're going to take today. What sign is we taking to put on the table? Who is shaking the table today? Everybody focus your energy. Let's hope your sign comes out. Let it go. Let it go. Is this Pisces? I just, I just, I just did Pisces. We just did Pisces. Pisces, I know you want another message, girl, but you can't be greedy. We got to be donated. What are we doing? It's this Virgo. What's the word, Joe? Virgo. What's popping, putting? What is popping, putting, pop? We're going to get right on into you, boo. We're going to get right into it for my Virgos. Well, listen, Virgo, you know, before we get into any messages, we always, always, always want to give God uh, love and affection before we get into your guided messages. So, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here collectively for the sign of Virgo. We thank you for aiding us. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for guiding us. We thank you for molding us. We thank you for holding us, Father God. Um, please give us the inner guided the inner guidance wisdom that the sign of Virgo needs to receive right now so that they could be prosper, prosperous and abundance in everything that they are and everything that they do through and through. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. All right, so let's get into it. All right, come on, Virgo. Virgo, what is the word, baby? Let's see what we got popping off. What inner guidance do you have for yourself? What do you need to tell yourself right now? What is your inner spirit you need to talk to yourself about today? All right, let's see what we got. Should I just seen light it up? Okay, should light up the ganja. Okay, fast the dutchy pungy left hand side. Listen, light it up. Okay, that's what y'all talking about. Y'all trying to light some green up? Hey, pass it to me, baby. Two puffs in the past. And go get me a glass. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> okay, we going to sip too, honey. Look, we got indigo crystal children. All right. All right, all your little special babies. All right, indigo crystal children. Well, I feel like y'all working, um, like a caretaker. Um, like, I mean, you work with, like, older people. Or it's like you work with like preschool kids or something like that. And it's like you really love what you're doing. Give me one more. Indi indigo crystal children. Chakra cleansing. Alright now I'm about to say this. Because I feel like one of y'all was trying to uh, uh, fit in the looking to get pregnant. Okay. So I feel like you need to clear out any like debris, uh, chaos upheaval that's going on down there I, you, you know I hope you understand what I'm saying I'm not saying it in like a, a grotesque way I'm just saying like making sure that like if you got any problems with constant yeast infections or something like that like you can um what they say you do your uh, probiotics the yogurt what's that stuff that Greek yogurt you could just do things like naturally just by changing your diet just making sure that all of your flora is that what they call it whatever going on down there is healthy everything is healthy like especially if you're trying to conceive right now you might want to start taking some prenatal probiotics that's really what you should be doing so you see what i'm saying it's like cleansing all of your vessels and everything out start eating more healthier start jogging especially if you got a little bit of weight on you because don't nobody want gestational diabetes because trust me i had it i had to prick my finger but eight times a day to test my blood when i wake up before um i eat my breakfast after i eat my breakfast before and after every meal and snacks that was a lot 
you know, especially for someone that's not used to it, it's like you don't want to go through that. So you want to make sure that your body is cleansed and healthy and balanced. And you want to make sure that any children that you are bringing into this world is being nurtured and developed in a clean and healthy environment. So y'all might need to quit all that smoking and drinking or you need to go out with your last who raw your little last big bang. Okay, have your last big bang and then after that do your thing. Because I definitely am getting the energy. It's like a someone that is preparing to conceive. And you have like an affinity for children. I don't think that you even have children of your own. I feel like you work with a lot of children in your department. Like even if you work in a clothing store, you might work in the children's department. Because you just have such a knack. Um, you know... And the creative energy around these kids, like you're a very good like preschool teacher teaching these kids numbers. You like develop patience. You really do have like, I just, I'm seeing somebody like, you know how they say when babies, they have a different view vantage because they're on, they're on such a low level. So it's certain things that they can see on the floor that maybe adults standing up can't see. Well, I feel like your ass be right there on the floor crawling around with the babies, rolling around, acting silly and stuff. I just feel like you're such a joy and like you were like the best auntie, the best stepmother, the best step, I mean, um, best friend that anybody can have if they have have children you know what I'm saying because it's like those are your babies so I feel like you're very special and you're definitely about to bring a special very beautiful child into this world so I just want to give a big shout out to whoever that it is that is ready to conceive and is getting their body prepared all right I want to give a big shout out to you but yeah um in general if you're not if that message isn't for you and and, and again you don't have to necessarily look at it as kids. You can look at it as a project, uh, something that you're trying to nurture right now into your foundations. You're trying to get your foundation strong. You know what I'm saying? So you could be developing like a spiritual child, a spiritual baby right now, meaning um, some type of adventure, some type of goal that you're trying to manifest. Like some of you guys may be trying to start like... um a partnership with somebody trying to start like a a a, a, a traveling uh, business or something like that and you might want to partner up with your friends so you guys start this website and y'all tag team doing these bookings and stuff like that until you recruit some more travel agents and stuff like that and you want to do company events and you know things like that so it's like it might not be an actual child per se but it could be like the birth of your spiritual child, like something in your spirit, something in your soul guided you to create this and to spark this and to build this entity with your friends, with your colleagues. And it's like you're seeing it grow. You're seeing it going through these various different stages. You're very proud of what you are producing, you know, how you are conducting business, how the word is getting out there, like how, you know, your, your, your popularity is spreading. It's like you're seeing it develop over time. So in, in, it is your baby, you know. So you might be clearing out any debris, getting anybody with any funky attitudes, anybody that's not positively aligned with what it is that you're trying to do and you're trying to call into existence. If they're not with it, if they're not on board, they got to go. Okay? Even certain things about yourself, it might be laziness, it may be you being... um overproofing things you have a proofreader overproof something so much that you wasted so much time over criticizing over criticizing yourself when it was good enough like the the second draft honestly you know what i'm saying and it's like you could have missed opportunities because you wasted too much time being too overcritical it's like getting rid of that it's like clearing up a lot of stuff attitudes and people in positions that don't need to be there so what you are trying to process through the system can really move through seamlessly if it's making any sense so it says you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive so these are children with special needs remember i said you have like a um a knack for um Lord Jesus, my brain, my brain just literally went blank. Um, my brain literally just went blank. 
I feel like you have a gentle attitude. It's like you really do have a patience for like older people, especially like um I'm getting older people that because with my mind going back, like I'm like, damn, I was talking and just everything just went quiet. I'm like, whoa. So I'm like, I don't know if that's like Alzheimer's or something like that. People whose like memory might not be sharp. Like you might have to keep repeating stuff or something like that. Cause you know, even in old age, it's like they start to forget things and they start to become more infantile, just like we were when we were babies. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I just read that you can uh, even help children who are sensitive, I'm not necessarily getting um, children with special needs, but you could be dealing with older children with special needs. You know what I'm saying? That you really do have patience and you really do have a soft heart, you know, and you really do have this very nurturing healing bond. And like I said, like you don't make them feel like uh like you get on the floor with them you play with them you get on that level with them you know what i'm saying and you make it very fun and um i think you really want to enjoy your experience in this new chapter in this new stage of your life you developing and molding yourself for this you got the three of cups i'm trying to tell you you got a partner yeah so with this three of cups and this two of swords I'm definitely getting that you are creating like a very strong partnership with a group of friends, a group of colleagues, someone that has the same goal in mind. You see how it's the three of them are holding this one cup and it's like they're all working together for one mission. So, and again, it's like y'all might have been talking about this for a minute, but it's like about time for y'all to get up off of y'all ass and actually start putting some feet to the pavement you know what i'm saying it's time for you to beat your feet it's time for us to see you move okay it's really time for us to see you move i really do feel like you and your friends y'all are going to enjoy um the hard work that you're putting in you know it may look like hard work but you guys have a lot of fun and you are creative and it's something about y'all's bond together it's like tina marie and rick james it's like undeniable it's like unmatched like you can try to pair Rick James with any other singer or Tina Marie with any other singer and it ain't never going to bond. It ain't never going to sound as good as a Tina Marie and Rick James, you know, album or, or, or song or collaboration. So it's like this collaboration really does mesh well. And I feel like you guys, it's about time for y'all to get up off the, you know, get up off that thing. Okay, it's about time for y'all to get up off of that thing. Oh, and y'all do have three individual cups, but it looks like one big cup, don't it? It's like a multitude of talent, but one show. It's like all of us coming together for one thing. For one thing. And then you got the two of torches at the bottom of the deck. So the two of torches at the bottom of the deck is basically telling me it's like, I don't know, I kind of feel like wherever you're at at this stage in your life, it's like you're not satisfied. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you really want to get to the next point, the next phase. You really want to have kind of, like I said, the last hoorah. So you can be more focused and intent and, and um, intent driven on this new passion that you got. Like, I feel like, you know, it's time for you to reset the stage. It's time for you to reset the stage. And... I don't know what this three of swords right here. I, I just heard it's like it's killing yourself inside. Like sometimes you get to wake up every day to make somebody else rich instead of doing what you want to do. Because it's like if you could just take the talent and what you do for other people to help make them rich and pour it into yourself and your dreams with your friends. it. I feel like you just really want to do what you want to do, how you want to do it. I just heard like this Virgo is very generous. It's like, um, well, I feel like at certain times where it's like your service and your skills are so good that people's family, they want to tip you or they want to um, give nice things to you just to show appreciation. And it's like wherever you work in that, it's like it won't let them do it. You know, 
I feel like somebody wanted to tip you or give you something for Christmas or come and bring you something for your birthday, but someone stopped them and was like, oh no, you can't, they can't accept that. They can't accept that. Like the workers can't accept tips so the workers can't accept and you like uh-uh no it's because all i'm getting is like someone might have bought you like an edible arrangement or whatever it was but it's like you kind of had to share it with everybody because it was like you know you can have it but you got to share it or something like that and it's like uh-uh i don't want to do that anymore I feel like someone wants to start their own business. Like you just very career driven. And I really do feel like it's about creating something with people that have the same passion as you do. And you getting up off your ass and creating this. Okay, what's that? Daydreaming. Remember I told you I was just sitting up there daydreaming and just talking, talking, talking about it. And it's like enough talking. It's time to get these boots to walking. It's time to do something about it. It really is. I mean, you got the wedding. Okay, all right. You know, that gives commitment. It's like you're daydreaming about some level of commitment and a solidary oath. I just, it's like I really want to create something substantial with these people. And I'm ready to get this shit going. Like, I really, really am. It says, uh, chakra cleansing and clearing. Call upon me to clear and open up your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. All right, I just heard talking to the stars, wishing upon the stars. I, well, I, I feel like um, when you were young, your, you and your mom used to sit out on like your back porch or Wherever y'all was outside and it'd be like a really dark night and your mom point up to the sky and be like, that's the Big Dipper. That's Orion's belt. That's Libra. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's Virgo star or, you know, whatever, whatever. It's like somebody in your family that you know. It could have started from your grandfather, you know, and he did that with your mother when she was young and then she passed that on to you. And, um, mm -hmm. I get like very deeply rooted, um, it's like education about the earth. Like the moon and the stars and the planets or something like that. It's like somebody's in y'all family was just like extremely intrigued by that like might it might even have had a telescope or something like that trying to look to see if they can look and see the star um yeah the stars and all of that stuff like that i just heard that's where you got your attitude from that's where all of this daydreaming and uh i heard recycling they said I, where the recycling came from it's like taking care of the earth I just heard my parents were hippies. <laughs> it's like all of them. Grew up in the trailer park. Okay. Come on, y'all. Y'all doing too much. You got the fool. Okay. You got the hangman and the fool. I just heard I'm in a perfect position to really sit back and just think to myself and be alone and focus on my energy so I can really figure out what it, what it is that I need to do. Because I feel like this um, Virgo is sitting back looking at what everybody else is doing and it's trying to get their self, get the courage enough to jump out there and take their own chance and, and make a bet on their self. One more card and then we're done. Got the three of wands. I told you, you're moving. You're moving. That's a card of movement. That's a card of transportation. It's like you sat back and watched. I feel like you kind of you kind of sat back and watched and studied for a good little while. I feel like that's why you got such a reserved energy. You know? 
And now it's like time for you. It, it, I feel like now you feel like it's time to go out there and celebrate. You ready to hop out there, take a chance on yourself, try your luck, you know. You've seen everybody else have their bumps and bruises in the industry and things. And with this daydreamer card, it's like you have a better idea or a better vantage point is kind of what I'm getting. You have a better vantage point. And also, it's just like you're so faith driven that you, you're confident in yourself that you know what you're doing. And I don't feel like you're not just playing around. You're not just hop stepping, you know what I'm saying? And skip stepping and just, you know, just doing. No, it's like you really spent a lot of time and dedication to yourself trying to figure things out. And again, see how other people are doing things, how it worked best for them, mapping out a plan for how it works for you. And now you're ready to actually get the movement. The Fool is a card of movement and travel and transportation. Okay? So this is a card of movement and as well as the Three of Wands is a card of movement. So this is like... And what this is telling me here with the two of torches and the three of wands. And you see what he's doing. He's doing what? He's creating something. He's putting some work in. So I already told you. This is a group of people that you have. These are people that you love and really admire a lot. Jesus Christ. Virgo, I'm back. I am so sorry for the interruptions. But like I said. um, Yeah, there's a lot of work being done here. And I said... You guys have been waiting. You guys have been sitting on an idea, sitting on options, going back and forth on when, where, how you want to do and if you want to do it. You know, so, you know, the three of wands is typically it's like when you're waiting for some information to come in, some resources to come in so that you can make that final move. So at this point, you definitely see the full energy here. You see the three of wands energy here you see the wedding so that's like giving commitment energy there like there's going to be a creative marriage and then you got the devil <laughs> so with the devil like i definitely feel like this is like some type of contract some commitment of like an unwavering passion or desire it's like you're married to the hustle. Does that make any sense? It's like you're married to the hustle. And it's like you're so committed right now. It's like almost borderline obsession now that you've decided to actually get your foot in moving forward. Now that you've actually decided to get up off your ass, make the decision, it's time to get moving, and you start this work process, once you start it, it's just going to be like this. It's going to open up this inner beast in you. And they're going to see something like no other. The stuff that you're going to be creating. The stuff that is about to come out of your mouth. The stuff that you were about to have hit the table. That you're about to have hit the floor. Can't nobody move like that. Can't nobody create like that. Can't nobody manifest like that. Can't nobody finesse like that. And I definitely feel like you're married to the hustle. You're married to the game. You know. This is like a spiritual commitment. This is a spiritual contract that you're going into. Feel like you're married to the game. And you got your friends on your side. And y'all are bringing this dream to life. Y'all are definitely bringing this, this dream, this child, this <laughs> new passion alive. Y'all are bringing it alive. So, um... I definitely feel like you definitely received what you've been waiting for. You see, you had the two of wands there. It's like I'm going back and forth on my decision to go. Now I got the green light to go. Let's get it cracking. Let's get it cracking. So I want to say um, big shout outs to you, Virgo. Many, many years of success to you. And I can't wait to see what you're going to be doing and what you're going to be creating. Go out there with your friends and go create and start that business now. And I mean right now. Okay? Do it now.
Alright, y'all make sure that y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe. Thank you for showing love. I will see you in the love portion because we're going there right now.